Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival, and today we're going to take a look at an item that I've been very excited to get ever since I found out about it. This is the Homestead Box. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the contents. Now it seems like everyone is putting out a subscription box these days. I know I get emails about once a week asking me to review all these different boxes. I've been very selective on the boxes that I've done on this channel, and really, I only do one box anymore. I've done several other boxes that I just simply don't feel are valuable enough to recommend to you so I don't do them anymore. This box has me super excited because not only do I love to hunt and fish and grow my own food which I used to do when I had a house. My goal for this year is to buy another house and get some land and start a small homestead and bring lots of videos to you guys. I think that would be very interesting. I know it's something that I'm very interested in. So when I found out about the homestead box I took a second look and I was very interested and now that I've received the box I'm even more excited because it seems to have very nice stuff in it and the value seems to definitely be there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the contents of the box and make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to let you in on a giveaway that I found on their website. No they're not paying me to do this video. No they didn't ask me to mention the, the giveaway but I'm impressed with their box and so I want to make sure that you guys know about it. So as with many subscription boxes, when you open the box, you get a card which tells you the contents of what's in the box. Now they have two different subscription levels. I like that. It's simple. They have a $49 and a $99. It's called their Classic or their Pioneer box. Now this is their Pioneer box. This is actually their intro box. And it looks like they have a theme just like other boxes that I have looked into. One nice little touch right off the bat is that they give you a nice full color card that tells you the contents and gives you some more information. Other boxes that I've seen simply throw just some photocopied you know piece of paper in there and it's little details like this that get me to take notice. So on the front you have what's in the box. The highlighted part here is what's uh, what the upgrades are when you jump up to the $99 package, it looks like they have a little uh, brand spotlight. There is some items in here from Otterwax, so they tell you about that, which is very cool. And then on the back, they have a how-to. Looks like tool and leather care. So let's do what we've done in the past and just go on through their classic, and then I'll show you the upgrades that you can get if you step up to the Pioneer package, which again, $49 and $99. So let's start at the beginning of the card here. We have a Lansky Puck. Now keep in mind, this is their tool and leather care. Let me go ahead and get some of the packing material out of here. So this is the Lansky Puck. Now I have a Lansky Puck. I've used it before to sharpen my knives. They work really well. Best thing about these is that they're compact and they're portable. You can throw one of these in your kit. You can throw one of these in your haversack if you like to go out and practice uh, uh, bushcraft. But again, this being a homestead based box, you're gonna get items that you can have around the homestead that are gonna help you maintain tools and help you uh, with things like your axes and keeping them sharp. So this is something that you can certainly throw in a toolbox as well. Keep it in your garage or your shed and be able to sharpen your tools very easily with the Lansky Puck. Next up on the list is the Haas Farmer's File. And that is probably this. It is a very nice large file. Again, if you have a really bad edge on a tool, lawnmower blade, anything around the homestead, a big file like this is a must have to, in your toolbox. Now Haas, I know makes other great gardening and homesteading type products. I know they make like berry pickers and things like that uh, for if you have fruit trees. So I know that they're a well-respected brand and they make good quality items. This looks uh, very high quality, very nice. It's got a lot of weight to it. Something like this is definitely something you want to have when it comes to maintaining your tools. Next up is the Ace Sanding Block. It's just your typical jumbo uh, sanding sponge, medium grit. These are great for uh, cleaning surfaces that might become rusty. I've used these to clean my cookware and things like that. So something like this is very handy to have. It's cool that they throw little items in here that you just may not have, but you could certainly use around the homestead. So that's the Ace Sanding Sponge. Next we have Sunnyside Boiled Linseed Oil. That would be this. Boiled linseed oil is great stuff. I use this on my axe handles. I just got done doing the handle on my uh, uh, small forest axe that I just picked up. Did a couple coats with this. Definitely great stuff to keep your handles in good shape. Next on the list is a leather strop. 
and that would be this just a piece of leather you can glue this on to a block of wood or you can get like a painter stick or something from the hardware store and glue that on looks like a nice piece of leather that you could make a strop with now i use strops to give my knives and my other tools that final razor sharp edge definitely comes in handy for that that is certainly cool and then you get some honing compound it looks like they give you the marbles green honing compound now i have the white i don't have the green i believe the green is a little bit finer but what you would do is once you have this on your block you just uh, rub it on like that and it gives you the, there's just fine little uh, I believe silica in there and that is what cuts on your blades and gives it that final razor sharp edge still in the classic box we go on to the next item which is an open L number eight very popular little knife little crafting knife open L's are sweet this is the carbon model which is nice they have this little lock ring here and then you open the knife and then you can lock it again so that it doesn't shut very cool that they give you a nice little open L that is very cool indeed next up is a few products from Otter Wax now this is the company that they did the brand spotlight on and uh, I know they make decent stuff they give you a uh, looks like they give you a saddle soap a little two ounce tin of saddle soap and then a little two ounce tin of leather salve so that's very cool i don't currently have a way to maintain my leather so i'm definitely going to hit all my leather products my sheaths and things like that it's just another example of a little item that you get in this box that is very handy something that i forget to get when i go to order other things so it's very cool and that's definitely one benefit of getting these boxes so all of that is what you get in the classic box we can step up to the pioneer box it looks like you get a condor greenland hatchet which is very cool very cool indeed i know i just got the small forest axe this is a little bit smaller something that you could use in your haversack so that is very cool it comes with a, a nice leather sheath which some other axes that i've had one from marbles and one from council tool didn't come with sheaths and that's kind of a pain when they don't because you constantly have to worry about that edge, especially if you're carrying it around with you. So that's very cool that this does come with that. And it looks like they have an untreated handle. Some come treated. I prefer when they come untreated because then I can do my own treatment on it. So definitely going to use this boiled linseed oil and give this a couple coats of that to maintain the handle. Now I have the larger Greenland axe and that is a great axe for just keeping around the house, ooh, it's got a very nice edge on it. Something that you definitely don't find from all of the uh, the axe companies out there. This one does indeed have a good edge. So all I will do to this one is probably uh, treat this handle and it'll be good to go. I do like that it comes with this mask for it. Keeps your blade protected and keeps you protected. And then finally, the last item that you get as part of the Pioneer Upgrades is a three set of these Expedition Field Notes. Now this is the Expedition version, which is their best version in my opinion. These are waterproof or water, well water resistant. The ink doesn't wear off. I have a stack of these in the other room from all the notes that I've taken on all the videos that I've done. I ran out, so I'm just using a blank or a standard piece of paper right now, but it'd be nice to go back to these. I've put these in my back pocket and they get sat on, they get, you know, wrinkled and bent and everything like that. And they hold up really, really well. I have yet to tear one. So I can definitely attest to the quality of these field notes. So as I said in the beginning, I am very impressed with the Homestead box. It's just the box that I was looking for. And I guess you can find a box out there for you if you're into a particular hobby or something like that. There's probably a box out there for you. Me wanting to get more into the homesteading thing it is the perfect time for me to get a box like this and I'm impressed with all the tools that came in it. Everything is useful. You don't often find that in the other boxes. But what the big question is, is does it add up? Now for the $49 pack, I went and just went on Amazon. That's generally where you're gonna find the lowest price. I added up everything from their classic box and it came out to $85 plus. So at the bare minimal, you're getting an $85 worth of value out of your $49 investment in this subscription box. Add in the ax and the field notes and you go uh, up another $55 and that brings your total up to $140 plus for your $99 
investment. So some boxes are probably going to be better than others, but I've seen boxes that don't even add up because they only tell you the full blown retail value. Whereas we're looking at, you know, the best possible value. If you were to go out and buy these items separately, it adds up. It, it's almost double what you pay for their best box. I like that it's simple that they have two different boxes. And again, little details like this, they have a very nice card and some very nice, uh, you know, information on the back. Little details like that are what has me so excited about this box. So before doing this video and any video that I do, I do lots of research and I was on their page the other day just checking out some more information about the product before I got the box and I noticed that they're doing a giveaway. It ends on December 30th, but it's a sweet giveaway. They're giving away a Council Velvacut Axe, two of them actually, and the Velvet Cuts are the very, very nice axes. So they're giving away a Council Velvet Cut 28 inch Dayton pattern, a Council Velvet Cut 36 inch uh, Dayton pattern, a Condor German splitting axe, and then two items from Sturdy Brothers. One is a firewood carry, so I'm assuming it's just a roll that you carry firewood in, and a Sturdy Brothers tool roll. So I thought that was very cool indeed. All you have to do to enter is go over to their website. I'm going to leave a link below. You can enter to win that. Again, they did not tell me to do that. Something that I found on my own, but I'm excited about their box and I definitely want to spread the word because I feel that this is a valuable subscription box if that's something that you're into. They're going to announce the winner on their Facebook page, so I'm also going to put a link below to that in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up for me. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and be sure to share this to your friends and family on your social media if you think they might be interested. And as always, if you haven't already done so, please click that red subscribe button, subscribe to my channel for more videos.